In our first Google Classroom video, I went over the steps about how to create this Google Classroom. And we also included a couple of announcements and messages and included a, a quiz and some writing. So I updated this assignment just a little bit, uh, just a little bit closer to the date. Um, so when we actually add our student, uh, we'll see what that looks like on their end. And that's something that a lot of teachers don't get to see unless we create a fake Google Classroom is what does it look like from the student end? We're actually going to do that right now. So I'm going to grab this class code. We're going to display it. This is something that you could do with your students, and they can just simply copy this and type it in. Uh, but for the sake of our example here, I'm just going to highlight and copy. I'm going to hop over to our uh, new student here who is already in Google Classroom and just awaiting that class code. They're going to click Join Class and enter the code here. Click join, it just takes a second to be a part of that classroom. There we go. And then they will see all of the messages and assignments that were posted. And we can even see here that on due Friday, this assignment one for writing is here. So it's a nice little reminder for those students. Hey, you have an assignment coming up. You might want to take a look at it if you're not done it yet. And then there are all of those messages and a couple of other newsfeed posts that we had posted before. So we're just going to hop over to classwork. A couple of early messages we can just move on to here. So here's the list of all of the little tasks that we set up for our students. And we're going to go into writing. So we can see that here's the message uh, instructions that we need to do. It's assigned and there's the work. But if I also go to view instructions, we get like a dedicated portion, uh, dedicated page just for this assignment where we can post comments to the entire class. We can post private comments to our teacher. Maybe we have questions about the assignment or um, just some extra comments that even the teacher can post directly to that student so they can make some adjustments. So we can see that we have an attachment here. We can also add or create anything else that we need from Drive, a link, a file, or create a brand new doc slide sheets or drawings. But in this assignment, we're just gonna click on that Google Doc and we're gonna see what that assignment is. In the space below, please tell me your name and what you're looking forward to this week. So let's type that up. And I, oops, this week. Perfect. So we'll just leave that there. I'm actually going to close this. You actually will notice too that at the top of the page, this is something different when it's a um, when it's an assignment in classroom. There's this turn in button, so the students can click this turn in button, which will bring us back to Google Classroom, and that notifies the teacher that the assignment has been completed. So we're going to go ahead and do that here as well, and we can close that tab as we wait for that to turn in. There we go. Perfect. So now we can see as a student that this assignment is done and we can move on. So what does this look like now on the teacher side? So let's go back to our browser as a teacher and we could actually go to classwork. And we can see that we have one student that turned in the work and two students that has just assigned, but we uh, they just haven't worked on it or handed it in yet. So let's review that work. And it brings us to this page here, which is really great to see. Um, so this is the one that's turned in. That's the first one we'll see. And it's from our new student. And we can see all the work that they've done. So hello, my name is new student. And I'm looking forward to writing this week. So here we can actually add private comments. We could actually highlight some pieces of the work that we think maybe we need to correct. So this little part here, even my uh, grammar and spell checker is saying that there's an error here and we can leave those private comments right there. That way the student will know you are missing a punctuation mark here. There we go, and that'll stay highlighted so that way the student can focus on that part and know, oh, this comment is attached to that part there. We can add a, let's do that. We can add a private comment Great work on your writing. PC comments for improvement and post. And 
then once this is done, we can actually click return. So that's sent back to the student to make those corrections. They can go back and edit that. All right, now let's go back to our Google Classroom and see where we're at here. So now this little uh, box here is actually updated where there's none that are turned in, two that are assigned, and one that's returned. If I actually go ahead and click on the two assigned, it'll bring us to this page and we can see that student one and student two are both assigned, but they're not done yet. They haven't done anything yet. I could actually scroll down here, return. So that new student, there's my comment. There's that I returned it to them. So it's checked off and good to go. If I jump back to the browser here, now we can see that private comment that I provided. We could actually reopen this document as that new student. And they will see all of the comments that I left them. So right about here, you're missing a punctuation mark right here. So if I go ahead and add that, and then I can do just a simple reply back to my teacher or one of these quick replies, fixed, reply, return in. So as a student and the teacher, they can go back and forth, update the work, teacher can provide that feedback and the students writing and other assignments just gets better and better up until the due date of May 5th. I really hope you enjoyed this video and I would love your support uh, if you could subscribe to my channel and you will see uh, a lot more videos just like this of how we can use uh, technology in our classroom. Thanks so much.